Hello and welcome to this video and welcome to our second full day in the Yorkshire Dales. Today we are off to go and see some red squirrels in Snare's home, I think it's called, near Hawes. Uh, so this will probably cover another couple days, two, three days, depending on what we do. I don't really know with these videos. And as I said in the last one, it might be a little all over the place because we are here with Pete's family, so I don't want to keep whipping my camera out and sticking it in their faces. Um, so it's a bit, bit higgledy-piggledy and there's a lot of B-roll, but I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Right, let's go and see if we can spot some red squirrels. So after a lot of rigmarole, we are now at Snare's home. Uh, I think... at all because can't see. Um, so yeah, at Snare's home there is a little farm or some pre-book parking space but you have to pay for it. So we've sort of just abandoned the cars by a cattle grid and then walking up. So I think it's about a mile up to the the actual red squirrel walk and then three miles round the red squirrel walk and a mile back to the car. Uh, Pete's here. He is thinking it's much warmer than I am. I've got a jumper. I'm in a coat and a cardigan. Pete is in a t-shirt. I've got a five mile walk, so... Oh. The next day. Good morning. Welcome to day. Okay. I don't know what day it is. Day. I am currently laying on the floor because I have a rather painful lower back. A little bed update for you. We managed to find some better pillows so we can actually sleep now but it's not doing a great deal to support my lower back. So this is where I am. Where did I leave you yesterday? At the red squirrels. We didn't do anything other than that. The rest of the walk wasn't particularly picturesque to show you anything. And then obviously came back and potted around here and then went to the other cottage for some dinner. So not, not a huge amount happened after I left you. Today, I believe we're going to a pub and then to somewhere called, Pete, remind me what it's called. Mal something, Mammoth. Malum. Malum. Malum what? Cove? Yes. I don't know. Somewhere like that. I will have probably put it in the, the title of the video. So, because I'm rubbish, you can read it there. I don't really know what it is. I'm assuming it's a big walk. Let's hope my back is up for it. Also, there's a pub like right opposite this cottage, which I think I showed you the storeroom in our tour. And it smelt really good every time we came out of the cottage. Well, they have some suspected COVID cases, so the pub is now shut for 10 days. So we're not going to get to eat there. Which is a shame because, as I said, it smelt really nice. So just heads up if you're coming or going anywhere, I guess, in the next few months. Things will shut eh, without any notice. So don't make too concrete plans, I guess, is the answer to that. Other boys are just over there. Having a, a morning cuddle. One awkward bit about here, where we're staying, is the parking. I'm not entirely sure where you're allowed to park around here, but thankfully where the rest of Pete's family are staying, they have essentially four car parking spaces, so Nobby is living over there. Have I ever told you that our car's called Nobby? Our car's called Nobby. I'm gonna 
maybe try and do some back loosening exercises. So I'll catch you later. years old used to be a massive waterfall limestone I'm revived. I think we can carry on. I don't think there's many more steps. Pretty ready. You ready, Jeff? You had a duck strip? Come on then, let's go. Made it to the limestone path. Pete's contemplating going to the edge. He is about to marry me, so. stairs up to the limestone stair thingy path thing which apparently is in Harry Potter we've worked out it's in Deathly Hallows I think part two um, but once you've got past all that this bit that we're doing and I'm not entirely sure where we're walking to
that first waterfall. Come on, Jeffy. You know there's a spaniel there. So that first waterfall was called Gordel Scar, I believe, the one where they were doing all the rock climbing. Which, wow, the strength. And the balls, because hanging off a cliff like that, rock face, not my cup of tea. And then we've just seen, we've just gone to Janet's Foss, which is the one with the people swimming in it. I think there's something to do with fairies behind the waterfall or something like that. Um, yeah, and now we've got about a mile walk back to Malum, which is where we park the car. And at the moment, it's all along the river. So it's very, very pretty. Later. So I need to talk over the TV, but we, back in on cottage, we decided to have the evening here. So we've... You didn't turn the laptop round. Oh, for God's sakes. Um, so we've hooked up the laptop so we can watch a film. We wanted to watch Calendar Girls because apparently it's set around this village or town or wherever we are. Um, but we couldn't find it. So we're actually going to be watching Life of Pi, which is nothing to do with the Yorkshire Dales whatsoever. So we had to give up with Life of Pi because the internet's just not strong enough to to do that kind of thing. What I did want to say is that this chair is awesome because I can charge USBs from the chair. There's a USB port with my buttons and it charges my Fitbit. And I think it's a genius and Pete keeps laughing at me because I think it's really cool. Technology is amazing. Eh? He's just jealous because his chair doesn't have one. So, go on, I'll read some Jada. Hello. Obviously, I am not in the Yorkshire Dales anymore. Although I could be because the sofa and the colour of it is quite similar. Uh, I'm actually coming to you from the edit. I realised I never actually ended this vlog. But also, I've had to cut out a lot of my explanations and things because of the wind noise. So firstly, apologies for all the wind noise. And also I thought I would uh, give you some of the stuff that you just can't hear. So the squirrels in Snare's home, um, I don't know whether you caught it or not. There is parking at a farm near the start of the trail, but it is paid for and there's limited spaces which you have to book. So, so we left our car at a cattle grid. It seemed to work fine. It did add an extra two miles to the three mile squirrel trail because it was a mile to the trail to the car or the car to the trail, whichever way you want to look at it. So a mile each side, but that's fine and saved us some money and it was easy enough. Um, also with the squirrels, they wouldn't come out when Jeff was there. So we had to sort of tag team and keep taking him away and then people came back to look at the squirrels and then vice versa. I mean it's understandable, he's a dog. Why would they come out when there's a dog there? But I think we upset a few guys who were trying to take their wildlife photographer of the year photos. They weren't actually doing that, that's just what I'm assuming they were doing. They're just their wildlife photos. Now we know for future times that Jeff is not good when going squirrel hunting. And then the following days you would have seen more of, we went to Malham Cove and to Gordel Scar and to Janet's Foss, which I still think sounds a bit naughty. It's not, but it makes me smile because it sounds wrong. Again, I'm not sure if you caught it, I'm not sure if I explained it, but to walk down to just the big cliff edge where the waterfall would have been, oh, that terrain is fairly easy, we did have... Um, a member of Pete's family who was in a wheelchair and we managed to get that down. Um, it is a bit hilly and a little bit tricky on patches for that, um, but that's fine. And then to get up to the limestone pavement, which is at the top of that waterfall, you have to climb a lot of stairs. And that is where I had my dizzy spell, was climbing those steps. I don't think 
the two things are related I just think it was happened it used to happen to me all the time as a teenager that wasn't my first rodeo with that event taking a dog is a little difficult up there because poor little Jeff kept falling in the big old gaps between the rocks as did I with my tiny feet I would recommend you being a bit stable to do it um, I personally did find it a bit tricky and I'm not the biggest hiker it has to be said it's not I do it but I would rather not do it too often basically is my opinion on a hike I love a walk not so keen on a hike but a lot of people don't seem to get my difference in those two things but then once you come off that the walk is reasonably flat to both Gordelskar and to Janet's Foss I kind of wished I was in some sort of swimwear or shoes that I could dip my feet in the in the water there was a lot of people swimming at, in the pool at Janet's Foss um, and it looked quite fun and the water didn't look really manky which it can do sometimes in England which always puts me off so I hope you have enjoyed this video looking at the red screws in Snare's home and the big walk around Malham Cove and the two waterfalls so in the next video we have another walk I think it's Coniston Gorge and we also go to Grassington I'm southern I know a lot of northern people wouldn't call it Grassington but I do and then um, me and Pete also did a random walk but you'll see that all in the next video so if you're interested in that please click subscribe then you'll know when it's come out if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!